You know, one thing I've noticed is that maining Sniper is a lot like doing CrossFit, because rule number one of maining Sniper is to never shut the hell up about how you main Sniper. I mean, there are plenty of other stereotypes about Sniper mains and their hats, but, well, that's what the video's for. I don't want to spill the beans in the intro now, do I? So, yeah. You know, I recently stopped doing the disclaimer at the beginning of the video because I figured you guys got the idea. But for this one, I think it might be necessary. So, here we go. Just because a stereotype exists doesn't mean that it applies to everyone. So if you wear the anger but you insist that you're not a complete edgelord, then whatever, you're just a special snowflake. Just know that pretty much everybody thinks you're an edgelord. Cool? Alright, let's go. Okay, we're off to a good start. Oh no, here we go. Okay, that one that one actually makes sense because it's a because it's a try hard hat and it, it's yeah, uh, okay, forget it. Okay, I think, I think the, I think the point has been made. Can, can we all just agree that a good portion of snipers hats are edgy? Can we do that? Have we done the requisite amount of Linkin Park or freaking whatever edgy music? Can we move on, please? Okay. All right, let's start over and talk about the actual stereotypes. <laughs> Okay, all right, we good? Everybody ready? And take a few deep breaths. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go. There are two types of cold killer snipers: those who wear it with the villain's veil, or those who tell literally everybody they meet that they don't wear it with the villain's veil. I mean, cool. Good. Good for you. Just. Stop telling everyone. We can see your hats, we're not blind. Well, except for Jose Gonzalez 2005 over there. I don't think he even knows what game he's playing, but everybody else can see your hats just fine. Seriously. This is kind of like the El Jefe from the Scout episode. This hat is the fastest way to tell everybody that you play sniper for a Steel Highlander team. You never see any bad, your worst nightmare snipers, but you never see any good ones either. This guy always uses the piss rifle. Yeah, I know, it's not actually called the piss rifle, but I always call it that because it sounds better. Yeah. These guys could be at any skill level, but they'll still always use the piss rifle. Okay, this is totally a tryhard hat, but this hat actually goes with both sides of the tryhard coin. There are snipers who wear this hat that are actually really nice people, it's just that they always try their hardest to win. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. But you also see snipers with this hat and usually also the double cross com who will constantly berate their teammates for not doing well. These are the ones that everybody hates to have on their team, but they'll just put up with them because they're actually pretty good. Okay, so usually the no hat hats are the mark of a good player, but I've found that this specific one usually means that it's a person who realizes that this stereotype exists and they're just trying to seem like a good sniper. In reality, though, they're actually not that great. They'll just charge up a body shot and then taunt after every kill. Okay, this is weird. These guys don't look like it, but they're actually the scariest type of sniper that you'll ever see. You know, the ones where you peek any sightline on the map and somehow they're there and you're just insta-dead every single time. Oh, well, it's not the anger, so I'm not an edgy asshole sniper main. Uh, not really. I mean, this hat is basically the anger for people who don't really want to get shit on for wearing the anger. Most of these guys are... 
all right, I guess. I mean, most of them aren't bad, really, but you can still stand on their head and call them a spy a bunch of times and they won't notice. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is an easy one. This guy always uses the Huntsman. Yeah, he's probably not very good with it, but when you wear the Robin Hood hat, you kind of have to commit to the character, you know? This is the old school sniper hat. I really like this hat, but I really hate playing against these guys. They might not be the best snipers out there, but they sure as hell know how to play the class effectively. Okay, these guys are actually pretty good, but their sniper rifles are always renamed to some bullshit Latin word that doesn't even make sense. Like, I'm pretty sure that most of them just opened up a Latin dictionary to a random page and just went, Oh, that makes me sound smart and philosophical. I'm gonna name my sniper rifle that. This guy always uses the Hitman's heat maker. Yeah, that's it. I know it's a short one. Sorry. Anyway, let's move on. This guy always uses the Jurati and Bushwhacker. Once you get covered in their piss, they'll relentlessly chase you down with their melee out, no matter what. This is usually really annoying, but it's actually pretty funny when you manage to bait them into following you into a place where they really don't want to be. So you know how a lot of people criticize snipers for body shotting? Well, this guy doesn't give a shit. If it kills, he'll do it. For this reason, a lot of these guys will use the Machina, charge up a body shot, and just fire down a choke point. Oh boy, so there's actually quite a few stereotypes for this one. Okay, one. This is the war piggiest of all war pigs to ever war pig. Oh man. I mean, sure, there are some good anger snipers out there, but almost every single one of them thinks that they're way better than they really are. Two. These guys will almost always be using either a bot killer sniper rifle or an opera hand, and there are five different options for their names. Aimbot.exe, something about a point and click adventure game, something including their own name, like Assassin King's own sniper rifle, something insulting or talking about the spawn room, or a Lenny face. Yeah. Oh, right, and number three. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I had to do it, man. That was that was just too perfect. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> All right. That's it for this episode. Same deal as always. If I missed a hat you wanted to see, let me know so that I can put it in the honorable mentions video at the end of the series. Also, tell me what hats you want to see for the next episode, which is going to be Spy. Yeah. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll, uh... See you next time.